Ah, baseball. America's pastime. A sport rooted in the early 1900s that is as traditional as traditional can be. Statistics have always been an important part, but not as important as the eye test. The greatness of a catch depends entirely on how individuals perceive its improbability. Willie Mays running down a basket catch? Pretty great. But how does it compare to other great catches? Well, welcome to the 21st century. Now, we use technology to gain an advantage, wherever possible. Right, Houston? Bang, bang, takes it. There was the- And Boston? But, what if I told you there was a technology that had a way bigger impact on the sport? Provided a greater advantage? And was 100% legal and- Well, since 2015? This technology exists, and it's known as StatCast. In this presentation, we will cover what is StatCast, how is StatCast used, and why is it important. So, the technology that lets you know everything about a specific play. Say you got your hands on Luisa Rios' first home run at American Family Field, and you wanted to know how hard it left the bat. StatCast. Lorenzo Kane makes an outstanding catch in center field to save a no-hitter, and you wonder, what are the odds? Well. Statcast. Want to see all of Christian Yelich's home runs on sliders that traveled over 400 feet and took place in the ninth inning? Baseball Savant using Statcast data. So what exactly is Statcast? From 2015 to 2019, Statcast consisted of a series of cameras and radar systems used to track the flight in the path of a ball. This consisted of TrackMan and Chronohegel cameras. So, TrackMan focuses on ball movement, specifically its velocity, spin rate, movement, everything about the ball's path. This is actually the same technology used to track missiles in the military and falling debris from launching spaceships. Then you have Chronohegel cameras. These focus on player movement, so speed, distance covered, opportunity time, and location. The two systems work in tandem to create a comprehensive picture of exactly what is happening on any given play. Want to know how comprehensive? Well. The data collected throughout an average MLB game totals to approximately 7 terabytes of data. Let's move up to the modern day though. So in 2020, StatCast received a revamp and Hawkeye was implemented. So Hawkeye consists of 12 interconnected cameras distributed throughout the ballpark with frame rates over 100 frames per second and they all focus on pitch, player, and batted ball tracking. The new system increased ball tracking from 89% with the previous system to 99%. Now, interested parties can gather a plethora of data that hadn't been available before and access it in real time. Much more detailed than simple velocity, players can see spin rate, movement, launch angle, and a bunch of other metrics. Overall, StatCast allows for the quantification of raw skills and with an extensive data storage system and search system, the uses are endless. But how is this data currently being used? One of the main ways StatCast is used is for in-depth player analysis, assisting managers and scouts in a variety of ways, all with the main goal of improving on-field performance. One example is through the transformation of raw data into visuals. Heat maps are a common visualization tool used to convey the data collected as it pertains to more general player trends. Hitters spraying the ball to a certain area on the field, whether it's a fly ball or ground ball, pitchers hitting the same location with certain pitches, where in the strike zone batters are able to make the best content, etc. Another area in which StatCast data can be implemented is through player development. This may look at ways that a batter's swing can be improved by increasing metrics such as launch angle and bat path. A great example of StatCast data being applied with great success is with pitcher Corbin Burns, who essentially went from the worst pitcher in baseball in 2019 to the best in 2021. Analysis from his 2019 season indicates an ineffective fastball, but was thrown over 50% of the time. With some off-season adjustments, Burns started relying on a cutter instead, which was much more effective. An increased focus on spin rate and movement changed Burns' pitch selection and his success on the mound. In recent years, StatCast data has also been used to build comprehensive scouting reports. So this is one area that StatCast data has provided a disruption to the game. Um, the advanced scouting reports that have been generated have changed the way that defenses operate. Understanding where a hitter hits the ball most often has allowed defenses to alter their starting position. 
Pitchers can base their pitch utilization and location decisions on more descriptive metrics such as exit velocity rather than a result-based outcome such as batting average. Finally, StatCast data can be an effective tool at measuring has Fernando Tatis kept the same exit velocity even after dislocating his shoulder? Has Ronald Acuna Jr. maintained the same sprint speed since tearing his ACL? StatCast has a great tool to compare a player's current metrics with those consistent with their career averages or baselines. So now that we've seen what StatCast is and how it's used, the question becomes, why is StatCast important? StatCast has been credited with some pretty dramatic changes to the modern game. One example of this is the prevalence of the three true outcomes of an at-bat. This consists of walks, strikeouts, and home runs because they're independent of what happens when a ball is put in play. Results of this increase in three true outcome can be seen since StatCast was implemented given the 2009 three true outcome rate of 29.3%, which only increased to 30.3, a 1% difference by 2014. However, fast forward to 2019, and this jumps to 35.1%. So clearly, since StatCast was implemented, three true outcome rates have gone up. Another way the game of baseball has changed because of StatCast is the popularity of the shift. Going back to 2011, there were approximately 2,000 defensive shifts throughout the league. Fast forward to 2018, and that number balloons to 34,000. The result? Players hitting the ball hard right at perfectly positioned defenders. Well, what's one way to beat the shift? Hit the ball over the fence. So once again, players are incentivized to swing in a winner-take-all fashion, furthering the three true outcome phenomenon. Overall, the shift has been an effective measure put into place. Over the years, its efficiency has increased from 2011, saving 1.19 runs every 100 shifts to 1.71 runs in 2018, indicating teams are better utilizing data for their on-field success. StatCast has literally been a game changer in the sports world, and baseball is no exception. This emerging technology has been the reason for major investments into data and analytics teams league-wide, and the results speak for themselves. Not only whether the implications help or hurt the game, the availability of this data has certainly led to on-field adjustments that truly emphasize the power for change this technology presents. So the next time one of your favorite players goes from zero to hero because they increase their spin rate, Make sure you send a hypothetical thank you to StatCast, powered by Google Cloud.